Today I will be doing some exercises in contour line drawing. For these exercises, I will be using pieces of paper and a marker, a pen. I try not to use a pencil because I don't want to erase it all. So something permanent that will not erase. Then I went and looked for some things that I could draw. I have this plant here, a nice organic shape. You could do flowers, things like that. I found this little toy whale or whale shark maybe that I thought might work. A flashlight or other things around the house, tools, scissors, make some good contour line drawings. Shoes are always an excellent way to practice contour lines and just random toys this is kind of a squishy pretzel so pretty much anything that you can find that has an interesting shape paintbrush whatever is kind of around is a good thing to practice with so here are some things that i could use i think i might start off with this little toy here and see if i can practice doing that with some contour lines So I'm placing my object in kind of an interesting way right in front of me so that I can look at it while I draw. And basically as I draw, I'm going to focus on the lines that make up the object. So the outline of course, but also interior lines as well. I'm gonna really try to get my eye and my hand working together, following the object at the same time. So instead of looking down at my drawing, I'm trying to look at the object the entire time and not look down at what I draw. So I can see the top part and I'm kind of dipping down to show some sections of the top part of this toy. I'm going down by the tail and adding some of those elements in there showing some of the surface of the tail as well. I'm really trying to have my hand and my eye moving at the same time across this toy. I'm going back and forth. Never once will I pick up my pen. So my pen has to drag along the paper the entire time without raising off the page. And you're probably thinking, this picture looks ridiculous. Why would I ever do this? But the exercise is so valuable for training your hand and your eye to work together that it's totally worth it. The more you do it, the more in tune your, your drawing will be excellent tool for observational drawing. I'm making sure to include all of the little elements that I see here and I'm going to lift up my pen and call that a masterpiece. Does it look just like the toy? No, but you can see um, from that that it is the whale. So now I'm going to try again with a flashlight this time and I just pick a, a place to start. My marker is a little bit light, so sorry if you can't see it super well, but I'm just trying to look and draw the different elements of this flashlight. And it doesn't really matter what order you draw these things in. Um, it's just kind of however your eye moves across the object. So I wanna add kind of the little turn on button. It's got all those little parts to it. Trying to figure that out. And just moving my eye and my hand at the same time. Never picking up my line here. It's just one continuous line.
You could even include the shadow if you would like. I did not choose to do the shadow on this, but instead just went for the object itself. All right, picked up my pen. That is the flashlight. So now I'm gonna try a couple more objects. I switched to a regular pen because my other marker was kind of getting dry. And now I'm gonna try doing this plant. And this is a good exercise, especially because it has usually some overlapping shapes. These leaves overlap each other. So you have to kind of see where one starts and the other one stops. Um, and it's a really good exercise for kind of figuring that out. So I'm trying to indicate some of the veins on the leaves just with some wavy lines. Um, I'm trying to pay attention to kind of how close these leaf shapes are to each other. The stem, just kind of working my way down the plant. So never once picking up my pen, but just continuing with one continuous line until I have represented all of the leaves on this plant. And again, this is to work on that hand-eye coordination. So just like you do with sports, throwing a, a baseball back and forth, you get your hand and your eye to work together so that you can throw and catch a ball. It's the same thing with art. It takes practice to get your hand and your eye to work together when representing an image. So here we're representing this um, plant that's sitting right in front of us and we're doing it just by moving our hand along with our eye. Now another challenge that you can do is to not look at your paper at all. Because I have these images sitting right in front of me, I can look at them and I can kind of see my paper. Um, I actually decided to do one of my hand here too. So I'm gonna go ahead, if ever you can't find an, an object, just stick your hand in, on one side and you can do that too. But let's say I wanted to do a blind contour drawing. I could put my paper kind of off to the side so I can't even see my paper. And then I could try to draw without even looking at what my drawing is. And that's a really another fun way to practice contour line drawing is by doing it blind. Then you really are testing your hand-eye coordination. So just like I did with the other objects, I am going around the sections of my hand, making sure that I have everything where I want it to be. I'm kind of going finger by finger, I'm paying attention to some of the creases, where my fingernails are, things like that. And again, never lifting up my pen the entire time as I work my way through this drawing. So I'm making contour line of my hand. The nice thing about doing something like your hand is you always have it with you and you can move it in so many different ways um, to practice the different um, hand motions or gestures. You could do like a thumbs up or you could do um, like a sign language letter or a fist or whatever you would like to do to practice the contour lines. So I am adding my pinky here, making sure that I sh show where it connects to the rest of my hand. I'm gonna go up here and add some of those creases in the palm of my hand to show kind of where those are. And then I wanna go back down and show a little bit of the details of my wrist and then go back off the bottom of my page, okay? You can see the shape of the hand there. Obviously, it's a very different way to draw this contour line drawing, but it is such a good exercise. I highly recommend that you try it. And you know, each one of these only took me about oh, a minute or two to do, so you can try it lots of different times with a lot of different objects and um, see if you can improve your hand-eye coordination while drawing. 
So thank you so much for watching and for making it to the end of this video. Please like and subscribe down below. I do have another video on doing a contour line shoe drawing, so you can check that out as well. And yeah, hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching, guys.